Joining us here in the VOA studios are three distinguished guests. Emilia Ajay, author, coach, speaker, and founder of Empower the Children. Ruth Kendeje Yabaika, founder and CEO, Grace Vera Sanctuary for Vulnerable Girls. And Sarah Kwagara Kasozi, co-initiative founder and executive director, Heart to Heart Initiative. Well, ladies, I have to say sincerely that uh, I am profoundly honored and exceedingly humbled to have the opportunity to interview the three of you on Straight Talk Africa. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're, you're most welcome. I remember you last here about two, two years, years ago. ago yeah. uh -huh. You were talking about a book. Right. You were an author. Yes. And this time you come around as a sort of philanthropist or what? <laughs> so definitely I've always been a person willing to help, to give back, to make a difference. So when God gave me the vision to, um, to help kids, less deprived kids, um, it was just a natural instinct for me to start um, Empower the Children, which is a nonprofit organization dedicated and committed to empower and transform the lives of orphans, less privileged and, and abused kids in Africa because every child deserves to be loved, be happy, and to grow up in a safe environment. What inspired you to do that? Definitely um, growing up, um, growing up seeing hardship and poverty. So definitely being the United States and having the opportunity to give back, to help. And as I said, it's just a natural instinct. That's, that's so much me. It's very interesting that uh, before the show, we had a chat and um, I told you about my, uh, I call it a pilgrimage mm -hmm. to Nkrofu, mm -hmm. the birthplace of perhaps Africa's most uh, celebrated son, son of the soil, the Osajefo, right. Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. I went with his daughter. We drove from Accra to Nkrofu. We spent uh, a night at Takoladi, and I looked at the conditions this man came from. I could not believe that a kid from Nkrofu would end up becoming the visionary of the black race, yeah. of yeah. the continent. You know, he said on March 6, 1957, mm -hmm. that the independence of Ghana would be meaningless unless it was linked with the total liberation of Africa. Right. And he basically did not simply talk the talk, he actually walked the talk mm -hmm. so that most of Africa could walk the walk. Did that in any way inspire you at all? Because I realized that uh, your center, in fact, is based in Kenya, not Ghana. Right, so when God gave me the vision, uh, my natural instinct was to start a center in Ghana, because that's where I'm from. But I know God has a way of getting us out of our comfort zone and stretching us and making sure that you are really dedicated and committed to the assignment. So um, he divinely connected me to a lady, passionate lady called Frida Ronje. She had a center in Kenya that she'd been running for five years and it was on the verge of closing down because she couldn't manage it. So we got connected and I said, no, we are gonna do this together. And that is the beauty of it, because most of the time, everybody wants to start their own small um, organization, small center, but, but there's power in teaming up, in collaborating, and in partnership with one another. And together, we have kept the center and kept the children at the center. What is the response from the ground so far? Amazing, because as I said, these kids were not in school. Most of them are home due, due to the AIDS epidemic. Most of them, their grandparents are raising them, poor family in the slums. So having this learning center to come in in the morning, they, they study, they um, have games, it's just a safe haven for them. So definitely, and these are our, our future leaders, Mr. Shaka. No matter the situation or their current circumstances, these kids are going to grow up to be our future leaders. And most definitely, these are the lawyers, the doctors, um, the presidents that we have and that's how that's why it's important that we invest in them and then make sure that they grow up to be um, responsible citizens 